Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will add more fields to our rental agreement object. So the next field we will add will be the total invoiced. This is going to be the label for the field. It is of the data type currency. And what will be the purpose of this field? So this field will be used to perform the apex rollup of statement amounts from the statement object. So we have not yet created the statement object. So what this field will do is it will basically do a roll up on the statements amount. So we're going to go ahead and add this field. So we'll go to the rental agreement object under the custom fields in relationship, hit the new button. This field data type would be currency and hit the next button and we'll call this as total invoice. This is going to be the field label and uh, length would be 16 decimal places would be two. Description, we've already talked about it, hit next, visible to all, hit next, and then do save and new. The next field we will add is the total payment. Renter will make the payments every month, right? And uh, a renter can pay bi-weekly or every week or he can just pay monthly. So what this total payments will do, it will perform the roll-up of payments from the statement. This is also going to be a currency field. So we'll go back here. If you're not understanding the purpose of these fields, don't worry. Once we go to the statement object and once we have this whole application built up, you'll understand, you'll be able to connect the pieces together. So bear with me for next couple minutes here. So the field would be of the data type currency, hit next. And what is the field label? The field label would be total payments and length would be 16 decimal places two. hit next, visible to all, hit next, and then save and new. The last field that we will add to this rental agreement is the balance. So what is this balance field is going to be used for? Now it is going to be a formula field which will be equal to total invoiced minus the total payments. So for example, if the renter has to pay $2,000 every month as a rent, and uh, what the renter does is instead of paying a monthly, he does a bi-weekly of $1,000. So what will be the balance in that case? If the total invoiced amount is 2,000, and if the total payment he made is $1,000, so the balance would be $1,000. So $1,000 he has to still pay for this month's rent. So we're going to go ahead and add this field. So we'll go back. So here, this is going to be a formula field, right? The balance is going to be a formula field. Hit next. And the field label, we'll call it as balance. And the return type would be currency. Hit next. It is going to be equal to the total invoiced amount minus subtract the total payments the renter has made. So this is the balance the renter has to pay. Check the syntax. There's no errors, hit the next button, visible to all the profiles, hit next, and then save. So what we have done here is we have created our rental agreement object and we have added all the fields related to this rental agreement here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the schema builder and uh, let's see how the renter agreement looks like. As you can see, there is a relationship between the rental agreement and the rental unit. And also you have a relationship with the contact. So you can see here you have a contact object as well, rental unit, rental agreement and contact object. So these are all the different fields that are available on the rental agreement. Now rental agreement has a master detail relationship between a rent between rental unit and rental agreement where the rental unit is a master object and rental agreement is a detail object. And it also has a master detail relationship from the rental agreement to the contact object where contact is the master object. So now we are trying to put our pieces together here. Okay, so this is what the relationship will be. And this is what we have is the rental agreement. In the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start working on our third custom object called the statement. So I'll see you then. Thank you so much.